Hello, and welcome to this course on OpenShift for the Absolute Beginners. This course is put together for you by Mumshad Manambeth, who is an IT solutions architect and specializes in cloud, automation, and DevOps technologies. Mumshad teaches over 23,000 students worldwide and has authored several bestseller and highly rated courses around technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, and Ansible. Moomshad specializes in teaching technology in its simplest form for the absolute beginners, with interactive and hands-on labs and coding exercises that make learning so much fun. Let's take a look at the structure of this course. This course contains a series of lectures where we will be discussing the basic concepts of OpenShift. These are followed by some demos on setting up a test environment and getting started with OpenShift. We have optional quizzes that test your knowledge after each lecture. These are completely optional. You don't have to pass these to continue with the course. We then have coding exercises that will help you learn and practice OpenShift in Kubernetes configuration files in YAML. At the end, you will be given an assignment to test your knowledge on the topic. The assignment will help you gain exposure in working on a real-life task with OpenShift. And as always, if you have any questions, you may reach out to us through the Q&A section. So, who is this course for? This is for the absolute beginners. You don't need to have any prior experience working with OpenShift. We will walk through all the basic concepts required for you to understand OpenShift. This is for those who are new to containers and container orchestration technology. You could be a developer trying to understand microservices, containers, and orchestration technology, looking to gain some hands-on experience in developing container solutions. You could be a system admin looking to scale up your knowledge in container clusters and trying to get some hands-on experience in setting up such clusters. You could be a project manager looking to gain only a high-level overview of the various concepts and terminologies in OpenShift. This course also contains an optional prerequisite section that introduces basic concepts such as containers, source code management, builds, and CICD pipelines to an absolute beginner. So that brings us to the question on how you should take up this course. Depending on your interest and the time and resources you have at hand, you may choose to skip certain sections of the course. If you are really short on time and only need a high-level overview of OpenShift, only go through the lectures. If you need more technical exposure, go through the demos as well. If you need practice with building YAML files, make sure to go through the coding exercises. We will start with an introduction to OpenShift, followed by an architectural overview. We will then proceed to setting up OpenShift using MiniShift. Once we have a working OpenShift cluster to play around with, we will explore different ways of managing OpenShift, such as the web console, CLI, and API. We will then look into constructs such as projects, users, source, builds, image streams, build triggers, deployments, etc. We will also go through a high-level overview of networking, services, and routes in OpenShift. We will look at scaling an application in OpenShift and how persistent storage can be configured on deployments. Finally, we will look at catalog items and how you can create your own catalog item in the web console using templates. All of the above-mentioned concepts are accompanied by demos, showing you how to do it within OpenShift UI. We also have additional demos on deploying an application based on a microservices architecture on OpenShift. Wherever necessary, we have optional prerequisite lectures available to get you up to speed with the relevant topic. As always, feel free to go through this course at your own pace. There may be sections in the course that you may be familiar with already, and so feel free to skip them. So let's get started, and I will see you in the first module.